So in answering a question about LGBTQ rights, uh, Amy Coney Barrett used the phrase sexual preference. Does she think being gay is a choice? Really? In 2020? Check it out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, the Supreme Court hearings, or the uh, congressional hearings, the Senate hearings, uh, to uh, about Donald Trump's nomination of Amy Coney Barrett to be the uh, ninth justice of the Supreme Court, replacing Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, have been continuing. They just went into recess literally uh, a minute or two ago. Uh, the, the chairman, Lindsey Graham, said that uh, he would call a 45-minute break. So presumably, in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes from now, we will be back to the hearings. And like yesterday, we will carry them, you know, with an occasional commentary or interruption, but by and large, we will carry them throughout this program today and tomorrow. And in fact, uh, because tomorrow is the third day of the hearings and the last day of the hearings, in all probability, uh, Congressman Mark Pocan's first hour, where he takes your calls, will be moved to Thursday. We're, we're um, talking with his office right now about that, and I'm not sure if uh, anything has, has boiled down. I, I thought one of the most one of the most interesting things from this morning's um, questioning of Judge Barrett, and you know, more than interested in hearing your thoughts on this as well, we can just open this up and have a conversation about it. Particularly if you caught something I missed. I mean, I was doing show prep this morning. Um, you know, looking through the news. I mean, it's the 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 three hours before I go on the air are pretty busy, and uh, so. You know, it's entirely possible that I missed something altogether, something that happened. And, and um, so, you know, if you think th there was anything that you spotted, feel free to give us a shout, 202-808-9925. But, uh, you know, I think this and, and uh, Joe Biden has now come out and said, uh, you know, I'm not in favor. I'm not a big fan of court packing was this phrase, but he refused to rule it out. But he said, you know, I'd really rather talk about real issues. This is not a real issue right now. The Republican Party is trying to make it a real issue. I mean, this is kind of, uh, you know, the, the new, uh, you know, but her emails uh, kind of story. But, you know, th there's that. But the, the one thing that really struck me was, and I believe it was under questioning from Dianne Feinstein, Judge Barrett was asked about the status of laws that protect uh, LGBTQ people gay rights laws, gay marriage laws, things like that. And her answer, sa she said, words to the effect, I don't have the exact quote right in front of me here. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm guessing we'll be getting transcripts in the next probably half hour or so in, in the main uh, media. But what I heard her say, or what I thought I heard her say, was that she would not discriminate against a person based on their sexual preference. That rather caught my attention because sexual preference is a phrase that people who argue that gay people can be converted use, right? This is Michelle Bachman's husband's business, you'll recall, was using Christianity and religion to uh, and and uh, and some weird voodoo psychotherapy to to help uh, gay people, uh, specifically lar uh, gay men. I mean, this was his business, and uh, you can draw your own inferences from who he was and what he was all about. But um, uh, converting gay men back to being straight, because after all, it's a preference. A preference implies well, it shouts. Uh, choice, right? A person chooses to be gay or not to, not to be gay. And, you know, all the science basically denies that. That by the time kids are five, six, seven, eight years old, somewhere in that window, they have largely figured out, you know, who they are and where they fit and all this. So, you know, and, and that's not a, an always. Obviously, human beings, there's a huge variety of us. But this whole, this whole preference thing, rather than gender identity, which is, 
you know, arguably still a soft way of saying that a person has chosen this, chosen this identity. But, but you know, I, I, it, it sets, it doesn't, it's not a dog whistle for uh, are you choosing to be gay or not. So uh, I am, I'm hopeful somebody will drill down on that and just ask her, do you think that people choose to be gay? Do you think that people who have chosen to be gay in your mind can choose to become straight? I mean, we've seen a lot, you know, I've, I've, I've known people growing up back when, when homosexuality was criminal in the United States. When I was a kid, when I was in high school, when I was a young man, well, through, through probably half my life, gay behavior, homosexual behavior in this country in many states, in fact, probably in most states, was criminalized. And, you know, that's one of the concerns is not just that she's going to knock down gay marriage, but that she's going to allow the states to recriminalize consenting behavior between, you know, behavior between consenting adults. 